Hey YouTube, this is David, the Georgia photographer. I'm out here at Cloudland Canyon State Park again because last night and all day yesterday and a little bit about the evening before that, it has rained on and on and on and on. And I think I can even hear the stream over there at the foot of the mountain running from here. This time we actually just might get some water in the stream. My plan is, is to hike all the way up to the lower waterfall from the bottom parking lot here. That way on the way out, I walk downhill. And I'm gonna see if I can't get some decent waterfall shots. I'm gonna channel my inner Phil Thatch and get some photos of a waterfall today, hopefully. So let's pack up the X-T3 and a couple of lenses and my tripod and let's head on up the mountain. All right, I got the camera gear loaded up. Let's head on up. What you're seeing now is this valley here and then this mountain peak looking thing. And then there's a valley here. But what this is is not a val or not a mountain peak. This is the canyon. It splits right here. That goes up what's called Bear Creek. This is a confluence of Bear Creek and I don't I think Sitton's Gulch. I think is the name of this side. We're gonna go up this way because that's where the waterfalls are. All right, I've got up here where it's high enough into the mountains that the Douglas firs are starting to be prevalent. So it's getting green again. Yeah, even me. I had to shed that overcoat. I was burning up. Now I'm cold because I sweated. I figure that'll end in a minute once I get my heart rate back up. I've walked for 35 minutes straight, maybe 40 by now, except for the one stop I made to take my coat off. And I finally made it past Bear Creek. So now it's just a probably another half a mile up here to the base of the waterfall. I have to cross over the bridge that they've added in up here. I ain't seen it yet. I ain't too far from it though. All right, here we go. I am literally gonna have to walk back out of here with my camera mounted to the tripod thrown over my shoulder. There's literally waterfall after waterfall after waterfall. <laughs> There's so many cascades cause of rain that I don't normally see. This is all normally just trickling. I didn't think about it flowing this strong. This it's gonna pay off up here. <laughs> That's a beautiful curtain. Checkpoint number two. That's the bridge. This is the trail, the, this is the bridge that they built 10 or 15 years ago to cross the creek. I'm to where the staircase, as you can see, the staircase runs up the hill all the way back to the parking lot, which is right up above us. Then, so people can drive to the top and just walk down the stairs to the waterfall. But I'm gonna try to set up and get a nice curtain shot. It's running good today. This is absolutely incredible today. The mist, the water flow, the falls, that big soaking wet rock. Yeah, this is gonna make for an epic photo. Here I am channeling my inner Phil Thatch, taking photos of waterfalls. <laughs> it's beautiful up here today. I just, the decision to come today was, was the right one. And look, the sun's starting to peek out. You can see it on the canyon walls up there and a little bit of blue wispy sky. So we may actually get some sunlight in here before it's over with. On my way out, I'm gonna actually carry the camera and the tripod and then just stop along the trail along the way out and get some of these other shots I was seeing on the way in. Waterfall was beautiful today. There's several others that I want to try and grab on the way out though. It's actually kind of warm. Now that I've 
hike three miles one way. <laughs> well, here we go. Yeah, the sun's starting to break through the clouds now. Starting to see a little scrap or two of blue skies here and there. It's gonna turn out to be a pretty day. I'm up above the waterfall that flows directly beneath the bridge now. And I don't know if you can tell it. It's probably 50, 60 feet down. There's a staircase. It gets you halfway. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to set up and take a photo of this thing somehow. But it's just too pretty not to. And then there's the big sheet or curtain waterfall right there. There's a lot here today. Getting a photo of this curtain was a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. And it actually isn't as happy as I would like for it to be because of that dead fall tree in the corner of the frame. And this big mossy one in the middle, is, it's kind of okay, but it's bisecting the waterfall. And if I go uphill enough to get that tree out of the way, there is an opening, but there's a bunch of smaller branches and it's just cluttered. It doesn't look all that great. So what looks good to the eye don't always look good on camera. Some of the darndest things you'll find on the trail. Here's a hand winder off of a film camera. What do you think? Y'all happen to bring a film camera with you? A film camera. So, so that's not your winder off the film camera, huh? No. That's the oddest thing I think I've ever found yeah. on the trail. <laughs> huh. There was, I, I, we saw a few girls walking that way. I don't know if one of them maybe. All right, I'll carry it with yeah. me and see if it's yeah. theirs. Y'all have a good one. Any good pictures? Yeah, yeah. I got some of the waterfall. That curtain's pretty, but it's kind of cluttered with the trees, you know. But yeah, it's the water's flowing so well. That's why I'm carrying it mounted up. I'm stopping along the way and getting all these. Like, matter of fact, since you stopped me, I'm going to get a shot of this. As you can see, the sun started to break over the horizon. I've got the, let me get down here, get me in my shadow. But I've got the, the X-T3 mounted on the tripod. And as I see interesting scenes on the way out, I've been stopping and grabbing them. This has been a really good walk so far. It's actually started to warm up a lot now that the sun's broke off the top of the mountain and it's shining down in the valley. You have to seize the moment sometimes. If you don't get out when the opportunity, you know, is right, they used to say in the old blacksmith day, strike while the iron is hot. You know, don't wait too long to do it. Because if you do, you won't get the really good water flow right after a rain, or you won't get that sunrise. I don't do much sunrise photography, but that's why people get up at sunrise. Because you can't get a sunrise if you ain't there when it comes up. <laughs> Can't go at noon. It was shortly after I was filming this clip that when I dropped my camera rig and proceeded to break it, and I didn't have any more footage at that point, I just headed back to the truck with my broken hopes and dreams and went and ate lunch. So if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up or maybe a subscribe down there. It's over there. And until next time, get your camera out. Let's go take a picture with it, all right?